Uh, abstract brain waves, game genie in the beanie. We ain't on the same stage, leveled up. Uh, the Other yellow hat guy here, back with another video. And welcome back. We've got some more Pokemon cards. Uh, it looks like I'm out of sleeves. I've got one sleeve left, it looks like. So, uh, without further ado, we are going to open this thing up. Now, before we do that, I want to go and remind you, we did get this Battle Styles here, which came with a nice booklet in this, by Battle Styles. I mean, yes, it's Battle Styles, but uh, more importantly... Yo, know, you know what? These look like sleeves here. These are some more sleeves, so we're we're not really out of sleeves. We've got what look like divider little things here. I'm not quite sure what these things are, but uh, they're in there, and we do have some sleeves right here, which we need to be using. So there you go. We've got some more sleeves. And I just wanted to check and make sure that that's what we had. That I'm not leaving anything in behind, you know? So, uh, let's actually just take these out. I don't want to leave anything in the actual box itself because there's no telling when I open this up again. If it's, you know, even what I want to do, if that makes sense. Let's put this joint back and move on to what we've got for today. All right, now that's out of the way. Last time we opened some cards that we mixed and I had I had four packs of these Battle Styles left from that Battle Styles box, the video before last. When I told y'all last video, hey, let's mix it up a bit because there was a shortage of cards. Not only that, but uh, Walmart had a, you know, a limit on cards and yet Target even removed them. Some of y'all have been wilding out trying to rob other people or, you know, in the store, I think, you know, tried to fight somebody, shoot somebody over cards. It's not that serious, bro. Not that serious. Um, so here we are. Uh, we're going to finish off what was in the Battle Styles box. So this is like, what, episode nine, maybe? Last video being the eighth one. Uh, stay tuned. We got... I know you can't see it off camera. You can kind of see it right here. I don't want you to see it, but who cares? You see it. If you got a keen eye, you can see what's coming up. So I'm going to keep it rolling. I promised y'all at least 10 videos. I think we got enough for 11. But it all depends on how much I run my mouth this video. So this is just three packs here. So let's go ahead and start it off. Let's go ahead and open it. Boom. We cut that pack. And we've got homie on the front here. Hopefully it was a clean break. Oh, and it was. Look at that. Coming in clutch again. A clean break here. And we'll just discard this off to the side here. Once again, you already know it's the um, digital joints. Well, let's jump into it. Mankey. Let's move these scissors out of the way. Mankey, single strike. Focus Fist. Okay. Let's move these over. The last video, they had a bunch of cards in there, like the Pokemon. Oh, camera issues again. I keep knocking this, <laughs> this joint over. I apologize, y'all. I need to keep it on the actual table here, too, if I can. What I was getting at was there was a lot of Pokemon, not a lot, a few of them joints that I never heard of before never heard of cutie fly and stuff like that you know uh, something that looked like an apple <sighs> i expect to see some of that in this sizzlipede hoping i said that right sizzlipede searing flame for 20 okay ball toy because you know we need another one of those self-destruct for 60 all right Timber, this joint looks fresh right here. I like how simple it looks, but like it looks like somebody could have painted that and it could have been like in my local museum. He's got pound for 20. All right. Corfish, 
Bubble Beam for 30. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. <clears throat> okay. We got another Sizzlipede, but this time this joint is shiny. And rather than use that, let's go ahead and put one of these Battle Styles joints up. Okay, so the problem I'm having is it won't get into the sleeve. All right, there we go. We've got this joint in the sleeve. So they're, they're so fresh that it's hard to, you know, open them up sometimes. There we go. And they've got like a darker hue to them. Oh, we dropped a card. Whoop. First time for everything. Darker hue than, you know, this other sleeve here. So let's keep it going. We've got Lurantis. It's got Leaf Drain for 30, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. Okay. And then Solar Cutter for 70. And this evolves from Formantis. Okay, I like that one. That one's different. Got some, some fighting energy here. More Peko. I've never seen this one before. It looks like a, a evil Pikachu, like a P Pikachu mixed with a Gengar. I'm going to have to Google this one. More Peko. Y'all remind me of this one. Gather food. Put an item card from your discard pile into your hand. Hangry Tackle, because he's hungry. <laughs> if you have no cards in your hand, this attack does 90 more damage. For a total of 110, I guess, if you've got no cards in your hand. So they're banking on you having cards in your hand. Wow, look at his energy, too. He only needs one colorless to retreat. I, I would say this is a powerful card. This is one of those you're down and out. And uh, it's going to gather food for just one energy here. But you've got to have that other energy. <clears throat> Heck, you just need that energy, period. Because the, the colorless is going to work the same. You understand what I mean by that? You just need one energy to colorless. doesn't matter. You can... Continues and it does. Your boy is clutch. All right, let's move this off to the side. We already know what's up top. Another one of them joints. Don't need it. And let's flip because if I wasn't tongue tied before, here's Licky Tongue. Tongue slap and hammer in. He needs a lot of energy, not just to, for hammer in, but to retreat also. Fighting energy is what he's weak against. Electabuzz. Now this is different from the other Electabuzz we saw. That had, you know, paralysis move and stuff like that. This one has this Haymaker. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Haymaker. Okay, so you use it that one time and you've got to wait. I don't understand. It only does 30. I could see if the Haymaker was like, you know, 80 or something like that. But it's not. So what's the deal? Esper, focused wish, flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 20 more damage. All right, we got another timber, okay. 
it's got pound for 20. Slowpoke. It's not just Slowpoke, it's Galarian. Flip a coin. If heads, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. So you probably want to choose what you're strong against and be mindful of that. That was something when I played the game initially, I wasn't thinking about because it's moving so fast. And the people that you're playing with, they're not going to tell you. They're going to look away or look down or try to look you right in the eye so that you don't think about it and that you're hoping that you don't pay attention. They're already thinking, oh, they're going to figure out what I'm weak against, use that against me, so now I need to prepare for what to do after they do that. You know, it, it's kind of like chess in that way. So, well, uh, be mindful of that. And there's our foil card right there. It is Zubat, and it's got that Yoshi's kind of yarn artwork. I don't really care for it for Zubat, but it is deserving of one of these sleeves. So let's go ahead and sleeve it up. I would love it if I can get a Corv Knight at some point. <clears throat> and here we go, back-to-back -back foil cards. Karina's Focus. Now this one actually looks cool. Frappage Stripe. Draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. It would be dope if we can get like three in one pack. But, you know, I'm, I'm not going to hold my breath. So let's open this joint. That looks, I, I like that card. That looks pretty cool. So, so far we've got those three and these two packs. We've got an Energy. We've got another Cheryl. Bisharp, who we haven't seen in a little bit. And then this goofy looking Weeping Bell, which reminds me a little bit of the Lombre. Just, you know, I don't know if he's intoxicated, inebriated, or the influence, but uh, the ability here is Dangerous Mucus. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may make your opponent's active Pokemon burned and poisoned. Wow. And then it has Vine Whip for 40. So just the dangerous mucus alone is uh, going to mess them up. It needs two energy to retreat. So there we go. That's uh, for this deck. And, you know, we've got three total with one pack remaining. So let's cut this joint open and uh, see what it brings. And see if the streak continues. All right. Oh. Look at that, already open. Set this off to the side. <sighs> Catch my breath here, and then go ahead and discard this. So let's flip these joints over. We've got a bell sprout here. And here's a move I haven't seen before, Venoshock. If your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned, this attack does 40 more damage. Bronzor has Ram for 30, okay. Horsey, Smokescreen for 10. During your opponent's next turn, if the defending Pokemon tries to attack, your opponent flips a coin. If Tails, that attack doesn't happen. So this is like one of the few times where you want Tails for Horsey. We've got Murkrow. Now, this is a nice looking card. The move here is Scout. Your opponent reveals their hand. I like that. It's like Hoot Hoots, uh, see-through. Then it's got Peck. Okay. Now we have Cherubi with Leafage for 10. Okay. We got Phoebe again. And I was going to say, please don't be foil. Please don't be. It's the foil card. Phoebe, during this turn, damage from your Pokemon's your from your Pokemon VMAX attack isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, so let's leave Phoebe up. Phoebe up, Scotty. Like beam me up, Scotty? No, nothing. Okay. But hey, we got four. 
out of four packs. Here's Stone Journer. Like Sojourner. I don't know what they were going with this. Lance Pulse. If a stadium is in play, that's what I was talking about in the other video. Stadiums. Like if you had a grass Pokemon, you had that as their stadium, it could do extra damage. If a stadium is in play, this attack does 30 more damage. Cool. And this is fighting moves here. Giga Hammer. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Giga Hammer. See, that makes more sense. That Haymaker that Electabuzz had only did 30. This does 120. <clears throat> Almost its entire HP here. And some Pokemon aren't even going to make it past that. I'd wager a bevy of them won't. So to have a move like Giga Hammer here, uh, this 120, you know, it makes sense why I can't do it next turn. All right. Moving on, we've got some electric energy. We've got the more Peko again, whose name I forgot that quickly and needed to remember. Gather food and then hangry tackle again for 20. Um, okay, and then we've got your boy Durant. Durant, Harden, and Irving, I think, are going to go to the NBA Finals, which might be happening by the time you see this video. I don't know. We'll see. Vice Grip and Devour. Last card. I've never seen this before. Single Strike Mustard. Is there a catch-up? Like, what's up with this? You can play this card only when it is the last card in your hand. Well, <laughs> it's the last card in my hand right now. I can play it, right? 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 Um, search your deck for a Single Strike Pokemon and put it in your bench. Then shuffle your deck. If you search your deck this way, draw five cards. Okay, interesting. So that's it, gang. That is all for this video. We got a Sizzlepede, Zubat, Karina's Focus, and Phoebe. So two trainers and two Pokemon to go along with what we got last go around. <clears throat> like, comment, subscribe, share. Love you guys. Hope to see you in the next one. And if I don't, remember, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Other stuff on the channel. There's always going to be Mario Maker, uh, Pokemon Go. Those should be on here. Uh, maybe some more gaming news. Not sure. I've been doing some creepy pastas. Some of you have liked those. Um, maybe some more unboxings. Different type of stuff other than Pokemon cards. You just never know. Maybe going to the movies again soon. I probably will be going to the movies again soon. So be on the lookout for some movie reviews too. See you in the next one. Other yellow hat guys out. Captain Sensation!